What's going on, guys? Get some space here. All right, it's almost been like uh, a week and a half since we got in the gym, but we finally got back together. Our first leg day. A lighter leg kind of a day, right? A little bit too, too hectic, too heavy, but it was good. So what did we start with? Leg extensions. Our favorite when we walk in the door, guys, you already know, it's right there in the particular gym that we're in. But um, again, really good place to start. You guys know what I always say. Just take the time to put the blood in the muscle before you do any um, big compound movements. So make sure you're truly warmed up. Um, you know, your first set, try to get as many reps as you can. You know, go super heavy. Um, I think we did four sets and I was, I was, again, 15 to 20. That's just what I felt like today. So usually I target eight to 12 with heavier reps, but if it's one of those days where I feel like I really need some blood in there, um, I'll go lighter weight for, for more reps. I stuck with just light, 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 super light weight. So nothing heavy, nothing crazy. Um, and it was helpful because I needed that warm up, a good warm up to, in order to help get me going because I really wasn't feeling it today. But that light of a warm up helped me to keep going um, in the rest of the workout so I didn't crash out or anything like that. So I was able to get through a lot actually today. So um, I'm proud of myself. So it started off good. And then we superset that with some biceps. So we've been doing this thing where we're doing some legs with a little bicep. Quads with biceps. Um, excuse me. Quads with biceps. I understand legs. It's also no, quads, it's actually legs. not the same. Legs. But, <laughs> but we did do some biceps, right? So we got on that cable. Uh, it's one of my favorites to do the rope. Do some bicep cable curls. And so that was awesome, right? Yeah. Two sets of, we usually try to get two biceps in on leg day and then. Um, on the end of the week, then we do the hamstrings. Yeah, we'll do hamstrings and shoulders. We try to get our, our second bicep, so two. So two. yeah, it's been working. It's a good a good way to break up some of that arm work. Yeah, um, but it was yeah, that's one of my favorite favorite moves. So I like being able to use cable for almost anything. So being able to get keep tension whenever you're coming up and then going back down, it's awesome. So, all right, so that was. Super sets there. We love our super sets because we got to get in and get out. Then we did our adductors. Yep. Yeah. So, same thing. Adductors. Four sets. Did you three sets? Three four. or four sets. It's going to be oh, three or four, four sets. Yeah. Because, yeah. Oh, this is my eye. This just like, uh, you can't have a leg day anymore without adductors for me. So, I love getting that in and I'm starting to see some good, nice development there in my um, inner thigh. So, it's, it's still really good with the with the adductor work. Okay. Another warm up, same thing I say. Um, like always, guys, take your time. And do that before you do any heavy compound movements. You get your adductors in, get everything warmed up nice and tight. So I'll say nice and loose, <laughs> not nice and, nice and tight, but get it, uh, get that blood in there. So when you go get on the heavy compound movements, you know, you guys want to pull a muscle on those, that's most important. So um, after that, the superset. What do we superset though? Well, Busy parents, right? So we have to do all kinds of supersets. So you did calves. Oh yeah, I did and do my calves. So you did your standing calf I love raises. Calves. I love calves. Yeah, my ninja turtle calves. Ninja turtle, we did. Turtle. We did. We did a, um, the standing calf raises. So you did. The, you know what? I'm not a big fan of all standing calf raising machines because they're not all made equally. But some you'll get on is super super light. I like um, the old school stuff. Yeah, the old school is like heavy duty, right? Like. 20 pounds feels so like 80 pounds. That's old school. So I think it's going to be to where they start selling that old stuff for like high dollar and you're going to be the old Because it works. <laughs> like, like, yeah. That's like when you go into squeaky the wheel. Yeah, old school gym and like they got all the, the old school equipment that and, and maybe bust it up, but it works. Yeah. It rest works. All right. Um, but yeah, so we did the cat. Uh, I did standing cat raises mm -hmm. and then. And I did um, lunges, walking lunges with what was a 20 pound sandbag. Yeah. So just uh, did those just to keep keep moving. So like I said, lightweight, first day back, um, just trying to strengthen, get stronger back. So it was just lightweight, maybe about eight down and eight back again, um, walking. So it was, it was a good way to get started. So I'm glad that I did that and just didn't just sit, do something like keep moving, lightweight. Yeah. Works, works, works. And then after that, we went over to your favorite. Can we say it together? Sorry. Upside down squat. Right, and fresh news. That's what, cause I, that's what it's called. 
Now we did the uh, inverted inverted squat. What's it called? Is that vertical, what we're going to do? Yeah. Uh, it's vertical called inverted. Press. How about we go take a picture real quick before we leave? I don't even think it's on there anymore. Yeah. I think it, I think it fell off. Well, I think I'll uh, look it up online and screenshot it. And put it in. That's a good idea. We put both the both the name. A vertical leg press. Yeah, vertical leg press, guys. Same thing. You know, it's one of my favorite machines since I started doing it. Guys, that's another thing. Try different machines. Don't you know? Don't just get stuck. Don't don't get stuck in your ways. There's a lot of different machines in the gym that you can use. You know, to target specific muscle groups. So. Man, if you just get stuck to one thing, like you're just doing squat or, you know, you're just doing the the leg press, you're missing out, you know? Yeah, different angles. Yeah. I'm big on different angles to be able to target different lines, different points of definition on your muscle groups. Yeah. So, um, new things, variety. From there, we came back over, we did the seat up. Now, what do we do? I did, I did light. I stuck with my light vertical leg press yeah. so that I could do some Bulgarian split squat. So, um, I just kept moving. So I'm glad that I did that. So just still light, 20 pounds in each hand, uh, and I did three sets. I didn't even do four, so I just did three sets of Bulgarian split, split spots just to um, get some more glute work in and maintain that. We don't want to lose any of the gains in there. So. Um, then after that, guys, we was our last one. We finished with. Okay. So we did the uh, seated mm -hmm. leg press, and I was gonna go uh, do a unilateral or single leg, but I didn't. I mean, we we our legs are fried after um, inverted squat, so we went ahead and did a did a compound movement on the uh, seated leg press, and mm -hmm. on that one I had just you were shaking, uh, big time. Like, that's how you know your body used all its fuel. You pushed right. You're shaking. It's time to go. We um I did my sets. I did H12, pretty heavy. So. Good job. And um, I'm glad it worked. We, I usually try to get three compound movements, but we did three compound movements, but we did two today, um, which is okay. So uh, what matters is if you did that last, the last compound movement, you know, how did it go? Push. Did you shake it? Yeah. Did you push it? Did you give it everything? Um, if you didn't, go, you know, go get your third exercise. If you did, you're good to go. So. For sure. And then I did the same. I got the, the dual leg leg press. So, um, so just did a maintenance thing right there, and that's been heavy for me. So um, it was good. We both got in four sets. Um, I didn't do any of those partial reps that I like to do. Maybe next week, but I did just up and down, back and forth, back and forth. So it was good. I was able to get that set and work through the set, and I was feeling good. So just know how you're feeling. Um, do what works for you. So it was good. Maintain so that you can be strong enough to come back again. That's it, yeah. 